It's Bourbon Night. Hello. How is everyone doing? Was I quiet that thing? That thing known as our video? Yeah. <laughs> it's always just enough of a delay to where the song is just ended and then it starts up. Oh. It's annoying. Chad's life is hard life. Life's hard. <laughs> uh, welcome. Oh, that's Chad. I'm Sarah. Yeah, you know. In case. Well, maybe they don't. They it's might their not. first episode. You don't know. Uh, I see a lot of familiar faces in the comments, though, so it's not your first episode. Tonight we're doing the Wheel of Whiskey. Wheel of Whiskey. And I was like, Chad, was this inspired by uh, Whiskey Week in Batch 3? And he was like, actually, I just stumbled across the website, but it is very similar. They had a real wheel, which was very cool. Real wheel. I like their real wheel. Um, but this virtual wheel will have to do. Virtual wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So It's easy. It's pretty easy to update the virtual wheel, so that's nice. And, you know, we can put it on screen, right? We can put it on screen, right? We can put it on screen. Okay, so you can watch us spin it. It has been tested it's been tested and approved yeah by chad i have not seen this yet oh p.s uh we talked about this a couple weeks ago on live um if you haven't entered for the bartstown bourbon company world's top whiskey taster today's the last day today it's three interview questions they're super simple it's not like math problems or anything like that it's it's easy you have a minute to answer them you can do it in less time uh -huh. go do it um world's top whiskey taster yeah, Google that. Barstown Bourbon Company World's Top Whiskey Taster. I don't right. remember the URL off the top of my head. No. But it is the last day. <laughs> it's the last day, so... So don't forget. Yeah. May have to... We've entered. We are yeah, in the pool. We'll see pool. if we get selected. You may have to do a little multitasking if you haven't entered yet. Watching this and... And, and entering. And doing that. Maybe we can be your muse. Oh, it's... Inspire it's you. It's fun. It's yeah. fun. So all uh, things on this wheel, and there's 13 of them because Friday was Friday the 13th. I oh, thought, oh I see what you did I just there. stopped at 13. I hear the dog. Oh, there she doing is. Doing something, yeah. What's she doing down there? Oh, I never know. Uh, More meatloaf. Probably. Yeah. Mom, the meatloaf. Um, all of them have never been opened. So everything Nair? we do tonight is a live uncorking. Mm, so mm -hmm, boom, mm -hmm, boom mm -hmm. city. Um, I meant to ask you, did you send Sir Joseph Brazo a thank you text? I did. You did? Okay. Yeah. I was going to ask you that earlier because he's in the chat. And mm -hmm. I was going to say, if we haven't already said it, thank you for your gift. Yes. So kind. Well, what a nice treat. Sure did. Sure we did, did open it up last night and it was tasty. It's tasty. I should have put it on the wheel. You should have put I it kinda, on the wheel, but it was forgot. open. So you wouldn't have been able to well, say Well, I really wasn't. I wasn't trying to do that theme. Oh, but it, but just, it just came up. It just kind of happened. Okay. Yeah. I kind of okay. went to the shelf of things to be uncorked or to some, you know, to be done with, or just to open to drink. We got and, too excited uh, and we opened it. So. Just took all, you know, just wrote all those things down. So that's what we have. We have nothing in our glass, so nothing we spin? to drink. So we should spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. We're going to spin the wheel. Do uh, it. Okay. Let me see. Boop. Hey, there Boop. we go. Boop. <laughs> I think I can get rid of us. Okay. Hopefully we come back. Yeah. And... Spin the wheel of whiskey. Come on. It's not. There it goes. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Ooh, okay. Starting out with a little whistle pig. I don't mind that. 15 years. I can get it. Uh, old, I think it's, yeah, it is up there. It's up there. You're I'll right. go get it. Yep. So. Yeah, we got this one when we were out of town one time. We saw it in a in a liquor store, and um, we're like, yeah, I don't know if we've seen that one around. So we went and picked it up. Here it is. I know it's hot outside, but I was feeling like super cozy mood today. <laughs> I've been in just in my sweatshirt snuggling. Yeah, well, this chat's going fast. Well, that's good. It is good. Uh, John says he shared a dame to drink for. Uh, was for some friends of mine, and it was an absolute hitter. Ooh. Thank you for that pick. Yeah, that's our Nulu Noir. We love a dame to drink for. We also have some more picks coming very soon, uh, so stay tuned to Patreon. If you are a patron, we will be announcing that as soon as we have the drop dates. There you go. Um, we also if you're not our, a patron, you can check it out there. We also have our, our, first, <laughs> our first Super Chat of the evening. Comes Read from it, Nick. Chad. He says, 
Hope the wheel has Malort or Jaeger. Oof. There is no, like, whammy on this one. Maybe next time we do this, oh, I yeah, will put like, a whammy. Like, bankrupt in Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. mm. Tell you what, if we spin and we hit... I don't want that, though. The whistle pig 15 again. Then what? That's our whammy. I'm not doing Malort. You all have to decide what our whammy is. Mm. <laughs> Nick says... Oh, where did he go? Just kidding, and... Happy spinning. For a second, I thought I said happy spring. Happy spring. And I was like, <laughs> sir, <laughs> let me orient you. <laughs> Let's get something in our glass, Nick, and then we will regale you. With... I'm not normally allowed to do the cork pops, so. You can do the cork pops. You always take Pops the honor. Cork pop. Oh, wow. Oh, that was terrible. a gentle cork pop, but man, another wing you. I'll just. Uh... Blunt object and clue right here. There you go. Sploosh. Today. Brett says, Sarah, your name is spelled wrong on the Shared Poor website. <coughs> yes, I have sent an email. Yeah. <laughs> Should we get that sorted? And All right. Ho hopefully, eventually, get that sorted. Here's the bona fides. Again, this is Whistle Pig, 15 year. This is the Estate Oak Rye. It's straight rye whiskey. It's 100% whiskey. 100% rye, I should say. <laughs> uh, finished in Vermont Estate Oak, and it's 92 proof. Mm -hmm. Pretty bottle too, as they are. <sighs> Bo -bo -bo. Pull up Thomas's comment. This right one? there. Yep. He says, "What's that bottle over your left shoulder? My left, just uh, left of the McKenna." Looks like old oh, Fitzgerald. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was a big bang. Also um, proof that it's not a green screen. Some people think that yeah, sometimes. Yeah, some people think it's a green screen. Yes, this is the old, old Fitzgerald. So good. If you're ever like out in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. or at a mom and pop liquor store and you see this, get them. Just get It's so good. And send one to us. And yeah. Well, we've got another one tucked back there. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you came across these a few years ago at one mm -hmm. of those such places. And mm -hmm. and yeah we, yeah, we like to drink on them. They're very yummy. No, it's weird. It's old because... It's not the current iteration, but it's also younger than the current iteration. Like, it's not age-stated except the, for the fact that it's bottled and bond. Right. But, you know, it was around $20, so the, and it was the quality probably four for to that. six years, yeah. you know. At that time, probably. Yeah, absolutely. I have another soup chat here. Sting the Third says, hey, it's Bourbon Night. Your streams are a great way to wind down. Well, thanks. We appreciate it. Thank Get you. Get your little super chat. I wish I could read every comment. Um, so, this 92 proof rye, one, it's not coming off real. It doesn't have like super mintiness, yeah, on mm -hmm. the nose, which actually for this time of year, I like that sometimes. Sure. But for 100% rye, Zesty. it. Of course, it's also lower proof, but not getting the spearmint, the winter mint that can, can sometimes go through, come through in it. Um, it's drinking more like a high rye bourbon to me. I get some like, I don't know, some like subtle clove notes and I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael saying, evening Chad and Sarah. How'd you like the spirits book? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> My mind is blank right now. That doesn't mean that it doesn't that I wouldn't know what you were talking about. I'm not connecting the dots at the moment. Help, help please. May have been something that we have not received, received if that's if that's what you're yes. getting at. Yes, we need to check the P.O. box. Yes, but thank you for that super chat. And we also I'm have, sorry, Michael. I also have Michelle, the two M's here. Michelle says, uh, we're still on the road driving home from vacation, but wanted to say hi and cheers. By the way, David is driving, uh, not me. Good to know, Michelle. Good, good, good. Good to good, know. Good. I feel bad. Thank you. I'm sorry, Michael. That's okay. We'll give Michael a, uh, feel like along a... with Michelle, a triangle. A triangle? Yeah. Okay. Well, did you not see Michelle's? Oh, I did, yeah. but I forgot <laughs> quickly. Thank, thank you. Guys. Again, my brain didn't connect the dots of that means triangle. Um, it's all right. You guys, I'm having a tough time tonight. Also, my hair is really flat. I'm not, I'm not happy about it. Oh, well, it's just like, one of those days, on. you know. There we go. I feel like it wasn't on our face there. 
What which, wasn't on what's face? The focus. Oh, the focus. Yeah, which is weird because normally we can't get it to unfocus from us. We're trying to show a bottle. So, yeah. Um, it's because we're so cute. <laughs> right? Except for I'm not feeling it today. It's, yeah, coming across as just sort of a high rye bourbon to me. I'm liking it. The more I drink it, the more I'm getting the feeling in the chest, you know? But It's pretty delicate. It is, yeah, it's pretty delicate. But I think you get a lot of, um, as far as like mouthfeel, finish, it's delicate. But I do think that flavor wise, you get a good amount of development. And I think that's from the 15 year. Yeah. Like I'm getting a subtle wood, subtle spice. But I think because it's proofed down, that's why it's so subtle. Um, it's also subtle. Right, whatever you want to say. Um, but it definitely has, I think you could sit with this and try to pull apart the flavors. It's got some intrigue there. I personally, proof hounds, uh, wish that it was a hundred proof, right? Proof hounds, whoa, whoa. Um, I do wish it was a hundred proof. Cause just cause I think we're, the mouthfeel is nice, but it is so light that I'm missing some of that richness and yeah. that like nice, you know. That mouthfeel that I really like that starts around like a hundred proof. Well, hey, you know what? We have another 10 year rye on the board tonight. It's the Basil Hayden now. It's a 80 proof, but it's also a 10 year rye. It wouldn't be crazy if it rolls and then yes. we get to do like a drink this or that on. It would be crazy, but we can't break the fate of the wheel. No, it can't. No, we just have to go by the wheel. Um, looks like we have a few more super chats. Scott! Scott saying, after a really crappy week, it's nice to finally Aww. have someone to drink with, so I don't look like <laughs> an alcoholic. Hashtag COVID yes, can suck it. Yes, you have had a tough oh, week. I'm so sorry no, I saw that on no, Facebook. No, This one. Scott. Ugh. High, high proof. High proof. We're buddy. thinking about you. Uh, Doug. Doug saying it's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch A121. And aside from mm. that, I got nothing. That's nice. Yeah, that's a good one. That's that's good. Joseph saying... Come back here, Joseph. The hell? Oh, I think he said... What are you doing? He doesn't want to read your comment, Joseph. There you go. He said, hair may be flat, but the eyes are on point. Well, thank you. That's so nice of this you. Is, this is in my... This is in my way. This is in your way? Yeah. No. Didn't want to have in the shot because I thought maybe that's Mountain, what it was in the shot. trying to. It's okay. It's just water. We can on. see through it. I know. But can the camera? Uh, Tim says best way to try the Whistle Pig line is to buy the Piglet pack. Interesting. Mm. Last time I saw them was around Christmas for about 30 bucks. Those are like that's little a good gift idea. 200s or 375. Piglet pack. Yeah. That's adorable. That's awesome. Wow. Way to just take hold of that marketing idea. <laughs> that's cute. Joey Tony Bag of Donuts saying, yeah, uh, check your P.O. box and spin the wheel. Okay. We have. Spin we will. We will. that wheel. We've been a little behind. We were a little bit behind right now. Yeah. All right. We're going to go back to the wheel because we got to get something in our glass. To Cowbell Cheers, all those super oh, chats. Okay, um, I'll just. Uh... Boop. Oh, you have something. Well, you can do it if you like. Ooh, that was a big sip. Huh, the big sip. But not the big sip. No, it was just a big sip. Ah, oh, big sip. I can spin? Uh, yeah. Let me not like they can see me spin. Switch it over here. And then, yeah. You can spin. Boop. Boop it again. Spin that wheel. And it's gonna be New Rift Maltster Rye, Bald and Bond. So we are sticking with With a rye theme. With uh, a rye theme for sure. Get back on us. Got me a new there glass here. I think that is behind us. I think you're right. Okay. The Maltster. I can't remember what we paid for that. Um, Ian, where are you at? <laughs> well, yeah, for the estate oak. It had to be around $200, mm. so. Um, what we just had? Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. This, $49.99. 50 bucks. Uh, here's the mash bill. It's 65% corn, 30% malted rye, and 5% malted barley, aged at least five years okay all right so this was distilled in 2015 bottled in 2020. let me get this opened up and why don't sure. you pull up james's comment james our dear wolverton. friend james wolverton oh the well frontier no this is why i'm not allowed piglet pack shut up and take my money there you go the uh 
ending came off of it. See? The ending. It's only the beginning. You know so. what I mean? The, the little the starter. Starter thing. Starter time. Yeah. Pop it open. Make me proud. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I don't want to hear what anybody says. Pours herself first. Because I'm the lady. That's why. Get her. Get her, internet. Get her. No, you're supposed to be a gentleman and pour the lady first. Well, I do. But if you're the lady... Well, I would normally always pour a guest first, but you don't count. I'm just kidding. Mm. Oh, like I don't always plate your food first every single day that we've been married. Every single day. Every single day. Every single day. Thank you all for those... That and even string before. Ooh, of... did you guys see that? It was like... Psh. Did not. Of Super Chats. Thank you. There we go. Whoa, sorry. Headphone users. Chad? You Sorry. always get excited. Yeah, so this is made with malted rye. I read you the, uh, the mash bowl there. Ooh. Featuring fruited spikeness, spiciness, spiciness of malted rye, an exceptionally elegant bourbon. So it's not a rye. I put that wrong on the, on the wheel because I'm dumb. It's a bourbon. Maltster. Yeah. Made with malted rye, but made it's not a rye. rye. It's not a rye. Without, ooh, it's non-chill filtered. My B, my B. I know it's like a small detail, and Read it's not wrong. a make or break for me, but I just, give me all of the components that make the mouth feel better. Sure. Non-chill filtered. Absolutely. Give me them fatty acids. I want them. Donald's saying, uh, it took wife out to sample some better whiskey bourbons. We tried Basil Hayden, Whistle Pig Rye, and Michter's, and Jefferson's Ocean. Thoughts? Um, hmm. Michter's is great, especially like the 10-year... The, Basil. Those, they're, um, they're uh, cast strength rye and bourbon. Yes, yes, yes. It's excellent. And the toasted. Yes. Yes, very nice. Um, and the 10-year bourbon. Uh, Not huge usually on, on the Basil Hayden's. Yeah. It's just the 80 proof. I think, in my opinion, the audience that I've seen drink it the most, and I think who it's created for, are people who were a bit earlier in their bourbon journey. Sure. Right? Like... I've heard a lot of people who, maybe it's their second step up from where they started out. They're looking for something a little bit nicer, have a few more bucks to spend on it, but still don't want anything like crazy as far as proof. I feel like that's where I've seen a lot of the gravitation for Basil Hayden. I think we're just past that. Like for Jim Beam, that's our least favorite thing. Yeah. I would say, I think I can say that with confidence. Uh, and then Jefferson's uh, Ocean, their that even make cast sense. strength. Voyages have always been like the cast strength our favorites. We had seven, we had ten. I think we kind of dropped off after that. We haven't mm -hmm. had the cast strength ones. Chad was like, I want to collect them all. And then he was like, wait, how many of these things are they going to make? <laughs> no, I, I collected to uh, Ocean's Eleven. He just wanted to get through the movies, which yeah. isn't even all the movies. I know. I just got to Eleven. <laughs> I think I might have like a 13 or something here, here or there. You know, oh, the Weeded, the Weeded Voyage. I had the first one of that. But yeah. Mm. Oh, thank you, by the way. I'm going to give you one of these. Mmm. Yeah. I like the mouthfeel. There's a nice spice in there that I like. Yeah. And it kind of gets bolder at the end. Nice citrus Something's pop. Something's going on on like the side of my tongue. It might be the citrusiness of it. And, so, and it goes a little bitter. Like, I guess it would be like peel, slightly, you know? Slightly, yeah. Um, like grapefruit bitter. You know what I mean? Like citrus that can also be mm -hmm. a bit bitter. Not sour. At first I was kind of thinking orange, but I think it is more like, like tropical. stuck here. Slightly tropical. That's good. Second sip. Oh, Oops. <laughs> Eric Thompson saying, of course you two love the cast strength, meaning the Jefferson's Ocean. Who could have seen that coming? Well, it's only... Who could have predicted? 100 and... What is it? 112? 112 proof? I think it hovers there. About... It's always the same proof. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's somewhere between 110 and 115. I don't remember the exact. Yeah. I mean, there's some up there, but I don't know. Yeah, uh, and then the regular Jefferson's is just like ninety point two or point four or something. It's uh, not saying that we don't like and like appreciate that. something that's under a hundred proof. Um, to you, Eric. Thank you. That's just like our preference now. Is I mean, I can drink that and enjoy it. You know, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of a food analogy, like 
But I can't really think of anything that doesn't sound snobby. <laughs> so High proof is a medium rare steak. 80 proof is a well done. No, I don't with think With A1 it's... sauce on it. No, I don't think that's... Steak was kind of what I was thinking, but I was thinking more of like cuts. Like mm. a ribeye would be for me like a barrel proof. Like you get all of the fats and like the flavor and the texture and everything. And like, yeah, I can eat a different cut. Like whatever. If I can... I'm sure a steak would be great and I wouldn't turn it down, but like, that's my favorite one. So if I get to pick, it's going to be that one, but I can yeah. eat another one. Like, sure. And I think I feel the same way. I don't know if that's a good enough analogy. I think so. Or like Kroger sheet cake versus like a homemade delicious, your grandmother made it mm. cake. Like, yeah, they're both cake, but yeah, I would much rather eat the other one. For sure. Oh, Kilco Whiskey Musings is hungry. We're making them hungrier. Cake, steak. <laughs> Cake and steak. Steak and frites. What else? I can't think of any <sighs> other good descriptions. Damn, I don't know. Those good. Again, those sound very um, uppity. <laughs> I don't really mean for it to. You're a little bit of a foodie, though. Well, I am a little food, bit of a food snob. But my thing is, like especially when it comes to desserts, it better be really, really good or I'm just not going to eat it. Because... What's the point? If I don't What's really enjoy it... What's the point? I want to really enjoy it if I'm going to do that. I like this. I like this better than the 15-year whistle big. I... Yeah. Now, maybe if we spent more time with that whistle pig and really let it sit in the glass and really kind of dissect it, I feel like... No guarantee, but I feel like we would find a little bit more nuance uh, than what, you know, we kind of rushed past it. Yeah, sure. But initial trying it at a party or a tasting type of situation, um, this has got, a, this is going to be bringing me back sooner than that estate ride. I mean, I definitely think estate there's dope. something to be said for that 15 year whistle pig. I like the flavors that have developed there. There is that little bit of like, it's going away now, the more I sip this, but that little tinge of like a slight bitterness in this mm. that was mm -hmm. kind of hanging me up from fully making that commitment. But I do really, I think this has a stronger finish. I think this has a stronger mouthfeel and I can guarantee you it's less money. Um, so yeah, there's that. So I, I guess there's not enough to sway me towards the whistle pig. Agreed. At this point... But At again, we just blew past it, yeah. you know. Great time to uh, bring up what Joseph Brazo is reminding people to do, and it's uh, to remind you to hit that like button. And also, if you are watching us but you are not already subscribed, we would take this time to invite you to subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when we go live, and, and also it helps us just get better discovered and makes an angel get its wings, and everyone happy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what happens? That's what happens, I swear. <laughs> also, while we're on the sales pitch floor, I guess we can tell you about whiskeyambitions.com. We have a few sizes of this t-shirt left. It does inventory. <laughs> Small, medium. And 4X. 4X. And that's it. Small, medium, and 4X. After this live, we'll go put it on sale. Cause you mean you. Yeah, I'll put it on. So I'm not doing anything after this live <laughs> except for going straight to the couch. There you go. Um, yeah. So if you are those sizes and yeah. you wait till after nine and can still remember, get it on sale. We may do another run of blue shirts, but it wouldn't. This is won't our be, classic won't be the classic logo. logo. To be the Might new. be oh, this I, logo. I gotta say, this is one of my favorite sweatshirts. Or actually, we're drinking out of the same one, but maybe this logo, which you is can't a monogram, which you can't see, but. Anyways. These are also available at whiskeyambitions.com. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I already told you about Patreon. A bit. Patreon.com slash just bourbon night. Boom city. If you want to know more about our barrel picks. Barrel picks. We got uh, two, like four coming we up. We got so. a handful coming up. Yeah. We had a little break. We had like one, two, three, and then Short a lull. Break. And then now we're going to have like one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh. Sorry. Oh, let's see. Uh, Sierra says, cast strength is like hot chocolate made with milk versus lower proof, which is hot chocolate made with water. Ooh, okay, that's a really I good analogy. Like They're both hot chocolate, and when you're in the mood for hot chocolate, like, I mean, anything will do, I guess, but 
like that good rich hot chocolate with milk mm -hmm. it just changes the game you know um agreed i i like that one i feel that way about like barrel proof non-chill filter just that textural yes. richness um but who doesn't like hot chocolate Love it. right Jeff Wenbush saying, New Riff is a brand I pull for, but they don't knock me out with their bourbons. Prove me wrong. Jeff, have you had some of their single barrel picks, uh, including the It's Bourbonite? Uh, oh, New Riff. you know, I heard there <laughs> might picks. be like one case of those still floating around. Yeah, if anyone is interested in uh, the uh, people dueling put, barrels. Yeah, we had people say, I'm interested, I want that, hold that for me. And then they never sent their info to do the purchasing and Chad so Corkbot Perkins we held them and now Sarah Princess of Proof Princess of Proof uh, we should cowbell these fine people we should their, I think that's lovely encouragement thank anybody you. else my ears are super messed up right now my ears are popping I'm great thank you you're great okay fantastic well as long as Chad's good I'm then fantastic. I must be just making it up yeah no my ears I swear I had vertigo earlier I like yeah. turned my head and I was like Woo, the whole room just spun. Woo. And I said, woof. And I said, woof. Because Proof Hounds. Woof. woof. Proof Hounds, woof, woof. I think is what that's about. Yeah, who knows. Could be. It could be Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. John says, uh, the new Lou barrel picks were better than the new Riff barrel picks. Well, thank you. They are higher proof. Mm -hmm. So, I could see where... They're just different. Different, They're different. Different distilleries. Different distilleries, absolutely. Different proofs, probably for different people. Uh, let's see. Donald says, funny story, last year I ordered your Thirst Mutilator t-shirt and then they accidentally delivered it to a doctor's office. <laughs> I got side looks when I got it. Weird. It... So <laughs> strange. That is a good story. That's good. More and more people are watching Idiocracy now. Which, which is what I, that is based. Which is what that is based, based on. on yeah. It's also on our website, and like it makes me so happy that it's having its own little resurgence. Yes. And then that shirt is becoming more relevant, I guess. Thank you, Don. I don't know. We like it. You. I did it for you. You well, did. I, I want to read that. this Joseph Brazo. He says, "Teacher says every time a cowbell clangs, an angel <laughs> does a shot." Shirt. It's true. I love that. That kid was annoying in that movie. Okay, that's enough. Let's spin the wheel. Let's spin that wheel. Oh, what? Alex wants to know if we're married, and that's a hard yes. What it's if a, I had said that's a hard no? That's a hard no. <laughs> that's a that's a no for me, dog. Yeah, we are. Oh wait, one more super chat right here from Anton, saying low proof is bacon, high proof is hamon. Hamon. Oh, good luck with this. <laughs> I picked the wrong one to read. And tag out Sarah. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Tag mm -mm. out. Tag nope. out. Nope. Read it, Sarah. You read guys it. can read it on screen. Read it. Nope. Jamal. Nope. <laughs> Bellatoa. Yes. Good job. You got it. If you haven't tried it, it's a game changer. Well, obviously, I've not tried fancy it. Fancy ham. Fancy ham. Okay. Fancy pig product. Anton, you could have said fancy ham and, and and spared me a little bit of internet embarrassment. But it's I, a fancy pork I, product. I am pretty used to it. <laughs> Thank you, Anton. Actually, we're going to get something in our glass and we'll... Oh, oh. Cowbell cheers you. There we go. All right, to the wheel. To the wheel. To the wheel. Spin that wheel. Spin hey, it. who's that girl at the bottom? Looks like a Lowe's ad. Oh, a Lowe's ad. Yeah. And we're reaching. Oh, oh okay. It's the 10 year. Do we want to do another whistle pig? I mean, I guess fate did choose it. The wheel did choose what it. What if it's better than the 15? I think the people need to know. What do you guys think? I mean, we could just do it. It's only 8.30. We could do it. Could do it. I feel like we're moving at a pretty quick pace. We had lots of rye or, or a high rye, mm. I feel like. Or rye focus. So I think you're going to have to get up to get that, get that one. It's over there. Okay. Yeah. So this is the 10 year. I think it's coming in around 100 doll hairs, uh, which they do accept doll hairs, which is nice. So, that's cool. The wheel is spoken. Yeah, you're right. The wheel spoke. And there it is. Oh, okay. What? I think I, think I get this from Brian. 
saying if Chad pulls out a power glove, you're going to have <laughs> have to uh, send a, a cease and desist, uh, the Whiskey Dictionary. Uh, yeah, I think the Whiskey Dick has a real wheel, too, that he spins. And, of course, on his live stream, sometimes oh, he breaks out the, yes. the, uh, the power glove. And, uh, yeah, I hadn't connected that when I made this theme. But he was like, I like this idea. This I knew, feels like a good idea. I knew I was probably ripping off somebody, but oh, he's in the chat too. Are you, Bill? There you are. So sorry that Chad ripped you off. <laughs> I'm He'll doing get a, a digital power scarf or something instead of a glove. Well, one time when we were on a live with him, I pulled out my duck hunt gun. I, oh, I remember when he had his power glove. I did you even uncork that? It didn't make any sound. That's not my fault. Oh my gosh, I'm never going to be allowed to uncork <laughs> it again. Final Here features. is Bill from the Whiskey Dick. Uh, go check out his channel if you haven't already. I'm sure I'm most, sure most of, you of you have. have but please but, do if you haven't. Yeah. A great resource. And an entertaining human. Ooh, that was too much. Like a Joseph really going in with well, this. Uh, I'll just keep it. With this teacher says things. <laughs> it's going all in. Oh, there's a better. There's a better one. He's smiling. I I poured too much. I was gonna. Uncorking fails, says Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> All right, so. My bad. This is why I'm not allowed to. Now this is a hundred proof. <laughs> so we have gone up to one hundred proof. Ten years old, uh, rye whiskey. Um, you know, one hundred percent rye. I do miss Duck Hunt. I was never good at it, but Hogan's it was fun. Alley. Anybody? It Hogan's Alley. Yeah. This smells a little mintier. Where'd that go? Where's, I my, like some, where's my mouse? Some there we go. Deep dark fruit and a little and some baking spices. I like this. Even though he said give whis whiskey div a subscribe, we know what he means. Are you really about to sass somebody? Yeah. Who's modding for for free on their own that, time for you? He's not. We should make him a mod. He is. Look at the wrench. Oh, good. We did make him a mod. I can't keep up. That one day People? you were just like, and you're a mod, and you're a mod, and you... you're a mod. Everybody you're gets a mod. to be a mod. Look under your chair. There's keys. You're getting a car. You're getting a car. He did the Oprah thing. I did the Oprah thing. He Derek. got real excited. <laughs> uh, Kim bought me the fifth anniversary Crystal Galeen Karen from our 50th birthday, and I love it. Happy birthday. Yeah. Some Booker's 2003. I don't know, we haven't even had the 03 yet. Until y'all spin something oh, I have. 2020. See, here I go. You think it's... it's tw I think it's 2020 still. When you say... If I ever am speaking to any of you and I say last year, I mean 2019. Yeah. When I say last year, I 100% don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm -mm. Time is... out. Of time my, is a flat circle. It, it's out of my grasp, but this time is a flat circle. It's a flat circle. <sighs> That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, Not I'm, as many I'm glad, things. I'm glad your wife got you the. That is cool. Very cool. Karen. For... Those those are sold out. They lasted almost two weeks. But but but. But but but. We have more. Not fifth year anniversary Won't be the branded. Fifth year anniversary. But more cut crystal glasses on order, and yes. they should be here in six to eight weeks. Yes. Um, because they come all the way from Scotland. Um, you know they don't. Not as many things on TV are as good as that first season of True Detective was. Oh, okay. I didn't know where you were going with that. Because you said time's, time's a, flat a flat circle. Cir time's a flat circle. All right, all right, all right. I really, I really liked that. That was good. That season. Sierra was super chat saying, I just popped a Whistle Big 10 year with you. Mm. And it didn't make a sound after I took the plastic off. Same. Me too. Boo. See, it's not me. It's all in the technique. Okay, it's not just me though. Are you saying she has bad technique? No. Are you insulting mm -mm. a super chatter? Never. Never. You better reel it in. I will cowbell cheers you. Okay. Did anyone get that? <gasps> Anton says White Lotus is amazing. We're going to go watch the finale yes. after this. Did anyone... I have theory, but I can't tell everyone. Did on anyone here. get that subtle uh, Michael Kane uh, impression? It was just one word, so. It's I hard. know that I heard it. Never. I just let it go now because their impression. My name are is Michael Kane. Sprinkled Kine. everywhere. <laughs> All right, ten year whistle big. How you gonna do? Mm. Is that why your first sip? I've had like three. Yeah, I've just been chatting up. Now this <laughs> tastes like a rye. It is more on the rye side. Definitely a little bit Smells more. Smells like a rye. Minty, 
a little spicy. Looks like a rye. I like the 100 proof. Feels like um, a rye. Tastes like a rye. I think it's missing some of those a little bit more... Just Sounds never, like a rye. He never listens. Sounds to me. like a rye. I could it talk. Has, I could I say the like most brilliant things ever, and he would just. A little bit more. That is what you said up to that point. No, I had said all the things that I thought it was, and you just stopped listening. Oh. <laughs> this is our everyday battle. <laughs> well, I watch the playback. But I'd like to have a conversation with you right now. I feel like this, this, is, is, this, this is the part where I repeat things that Sarah just said. Go ahead. That I didn't hear. I feel like it's a little it's a little bit more um, in the the mint kind of spearmint winter mint, a little pricklier. Um, that hundred proof really showing itself over the ninety two I think it was of the fifteen year. Um, pretty good mouthfeel, but maybe the fifteen had a slightly better. But everything else, I'm feeling like, is more on this guy right here. Now, how much of that did you say? Most of it, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I really liked the mm, the flavors that were developed in the 15 year. I'm kidding. I'm I, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, there's enough people on here listening to me, at least. <laughs> Hundreds. 362 right Wonderful. now. Wonderful. <laughs> I'll let you guys know Squirrel. next time I ask him to do something three times. Um, and then he'll be like, by the third time, I'm like, why or are you cranky about it? Oh, only cut. Never mind. You guys already know. Um, <laughs> anyways, I liked some of the like oakier, you know, nice spice flavors that the 15 year had developed. However, price point difference. Mm. Uh, I don't know if I can justify that. I feel like this is I like 100. the finish. I like the proof. I like the mouthfeel. I like that it's, it's a, got it's a, rye. a touch more of the rye characteristics. Like if I'm buying more than a rye, touch. well, yeah, I mean, it's got a little bit of minty, a little spice, just, mm -hmm. I feel like this is doing it for me a little bit more than the 15 year. And I couldn't justify going there over here Agreed. based on the price. Agreed. Joey Tony Bag of Donuts says, have you heard of a wine called Ye Old Buck Shack? Yes, that's real. Aged in bourbon barrels, and it's pretty good for 15-ish. Um, have it. Would you drink it? A wine so, called Ye Old Buck Shack? I gotta be honest with you guys. I was, like, super into the barrel-aged wines for a bit. And then they started giving me the worst headaches. Like, even while I was still drinking, like maybe a second glass of wine, I would be like, oh my gosh, I have the worst headache. Um, and then the next day it would be awful too. Some people have suggested like it's the tannins or it could be like sulfates or whatever. I'm not sure. I know that there's like one or two that I can have, but I do not really try a lot of barrel aged wines anymore just because they, they just, mm, it's not good. Not good for me. But sure. if you feel strongly about it, I would be willing to give it a try. Amy wants to know, why are there over 360 watching but less than 140 likes? I don't know, Amy. That's a great question. Another great question is, why 30 minutes before this episode started, the same person who I assume comes every week to give us a thumbs, the thumbs down. down? I'm like, does he set an alarm? Oh, or he she? Did, he did the pregame thumbs or down. Or she. Um, um, we don't want to miss Donald's super chat. But do they set an alarm to come every Sunday at 7.40 <laughs> yeah. or something like that? They know and, our schedule. Uh, oh, don't like it. I just need to remind you that I don't you. like you. It's kind of funny. Bill? It wasn't you, was it? Well, it might be now that you yeah, no. <laughs> ripped him off. <laughs> it's like, he's doing what? Uh, D Donald saying, how quickly everyone forgets when Chad broke off the cork of the bottle that he, he got gifted to you guys. Uh, he also did, he that, also on did that on camera. Yep. Yep. I've never done that. Well, that's true. You're, you're batting average. Oh, just got another one. Thanks. Another Thanks. thumbs down? Yep. Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, for those... Eric Dobson said, is it one of Sarah's exes? <laughs> uh, some of them are probably pretty petty, so I wouldn't put it past them. But we're not going to say mean things about people here. I was going to put that up. Oh, there it is. That there that really got me. No, I'm for... ho hoping that they've grown in the, what, five, six plus years since yeah. I've seen no, any of not them. Not likely. I don't know. Not likely! <laughs> 
I'm not gonna say nasty uh, things about people. For those previous two super chats, thank you much. Whiskey, Cabell, cheers to you. I enjoy that theory though. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know. <laughs> it could be one of Chad's exes. Oh, they took it back. <laughs> he didn't respond. They took it away. Oh, maybe someone clicked it accidentally. Ah, uh, it was an accidental thumb. They are right beside each other. The evil exes, the evil John exes. Wadsworth, yes. Seven evil exes. Ooh, now I'm like, I want to do barrel picks, a dueling barrel picks of like... I love that movie. Exes. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Freaking love that. Great director. You know, I've only seen it once and I don't really remember what happens. So I guess we'll rewatch it. Call oh, it no, there it is. Second thumbs down. Asking you shall receive. Daggern you. And you shall you receive. You meddlesome kids. 21 and over. <laughs> All right, let's spin this damn wheel again. Scooter says I got a finger for them and it ain't a thumb. <laughs> I like that. We're going to spin the wheel. Of Destiny. Wheel of Destiny. Turn, turn, turn. Where to land? No one knows. Okay. Uh-oh. Wait, we already did that. We already did that one, so I don't know what must be done. A punishment for? As punishment. A bankruptcy. Yes, you know, now we are bankrupt. Like on Jeopardy. Well, we'll think about that while we spin again. Trev asked for a $200 or 200 like limit to get a Jaeger bomb on the... Uh-oh. <laughs> Is something wrong with this? Now it's we're doubly in trouble. Okay. What the hell? Uh... <laughs> this might be the punishment. <laughs> okay, know. well, we'll go with it. We'll, we'll go see. with it. We'll, we'll go with see. It. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Derek had asked, can we have... I think he said it's, it, it's passed now, mm -hmm. but I think he said something about, can we have, like, a themed tasting based on how, like, Pichu's whiskeys how uh, so like how they would relate to our exes oh, <laughs> talk about that okay. Whoa. Whoa, i feel like i would Ooh. get i don't know if i want to open those and then put doors. that out on the internet those chapters are long closed i don't know if i want to reopen those Damn. long closed Ooh, you. Ooh, it makes me scared i don't want to do it <laughs> where the hell this little thing go where is it i thought i'll put it up here okay um uh, are you sure yeah okay i'll go look for it Hold on, I can just stand up. I need to stand up hey, anyway. You guys want to see Chad's basketball shorts? Here they are. Here they are. How do you like them? Model them for him. They're new. Puma. They are new. <laughs> Where the hell did it go? Oh, here it is. I put it here so, so, oh, so I wouldn't have to. Oh, dear. I think this was the. Uh, this is from Swan. Thank you, Swan. Thank, thank you, Swan. <laughs> thank you, Swan. Look, it's in a little can. Two stacks. Irish whiskey in a dram in a can. Dram in a, dram in a can. Proof. Just a wee dram. Forty percent dark grain, forty percent light grain, eight percent pot still, ten percent double malt, two percent peated malt. <laughs> it's what? Oh, there's a lot of information on here. It's aged in a bunch of different casts. Like, all those different percents are aged. Um, is anyone surprised Chad had any pants on? I mean... As long as he sits at the desk, he can do whatever he wants, right. I guess. That's right. Todd says pants went out in the 80s, and we are already know how Todd feels about pants. He is pro short pants. Pro... Unless it's a wedding or a funeral, he's wearing shorts. Unless it's required in the dress code. Oh, that's enough. Oh, that's light. That's enough of that. Shotgun it, says Brett. <laughs> Two stacks. A6 proof. Irish whiskey. I'm judging it a lot before I've even gotten to know it at all. Don't smell that bad. It doesn't look super promising. Did we miss a super chat? We did. Yes, we did. Michael, who we've already blown it. This is now we've blown it again. Uh, this weekend I found a Blue Note Single Barrel Reserve and Old Ezra 7 Barrel Strength. Good enough to save for a special occasion? I don't know anything about don't, the Blue Note. Uh, Blue, Blue Note. Wait, Blue is, that Note. The, is that the is that the former Four Roses? Nope, that's uh, Blue Run. Blue Run, okay. Then no, I don't know anything about Blue Unless Note. Unless it auto-corrected. Uh, Old Ezra 7, is it a pick or not? Uh, I've been back and forth on Some that. Some people... 
really like i think perry really likes the uh, ezra seven mm-hmm. i think that one may be worth saving i wouldn't say like the most specialist occasion yeah. um but like a medium a medium a medium occasion. special a occasion. medium occasion a birthday an anniversary perhaps but not like a big anniversary like it will soon maybe go up for yeah. that you know some uh well uh housewarming or housewarming. farewell party or fair, something fair like thee that. well tammy brinicky says loving this stream Love the basketball shorts. Mr. Mrs. Thumbs, uh, down, thumbs down, can down can suck, can it. suck it. IBM fam is the best. I agree with everything you said, Proof Tammy. Pounds, woof, woof. Everything you said, I agree with it. And uh, and, and Nutty Squad <sighs> represent. I love her. Yeah. Well, those two. <gasps> also a shirt coming soon. Those two super chats deserve Oof. an Irish cowbell cheers. It's very floral, honeysuckle, and like fresh cut wood chips. A little bit. <laughs> oh god, I'm not looking forward to it now. A little bit. I've heard things. It's not bad. It's sweet. Sweet. A little smoke. Yeah, smoky. That gives me a little bit more of a Scotch vibe than an Irish whiskey. Honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not great by mm-hmm, any means, mm-hmm. but I always say this, but if you were at a tailgate and you handed out a bunch of these, like, worst things have happened. Little stocking stuffers right here. Oh, um, I don't little know. Little dram in a can. Is it a gift Man. or is it not a gift? It's not for me, um, but I think it could taste a lot worse to be honest. Well, this breaks Sarah of having two sips. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta have a second one because I have to evaluate. True. All right, we have, uh, oh, we had 201 likes and then it went down to 200. Someone took back their like, that's fine, but we're at 200 now. Let's shoot for 300 by the end of the show. What do you think? If we keep asking people, <laughs> maybe because there's 369 of us in here. Scott's comment, <laughs> these two really hate cans. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from the cans! Oh, this yeah. guy hates cans. God, if you haven't seen the jerk, mm. you should. Great movie. I saw a uh, on TikTok. Uh, well, you know, I was playing it when you were around. It was that couple doing that song, uh, guitar. Although in the movie, I think it might have been a ukulele. I can't remember, but the uh, um, it's a duet. It's a good story. That got it. What's the song from the jerk? Huh, it's okay, hun. Yeah, okay. No, okay. I know you love. We all know you love Steve Martin. How high the moon? No, it's okay. It. Shh, 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 Maybe. Shh. Say goodbye to it. Let all it go. Right. Goodbye, Let it go. Thought. There it goes. Oh, I hate doing Bye. it. Bye. Hate doing it. We'll figure it out later. We'll figure it out. Let's put it. Let's back burner that. Okay. Michael Pfeiffer. Um, very well. That's not right. Ezra, Ezra Seven for the Packers game. There that you sounds, go. Yes, perfect. Blue Note for the Bears. The Bears game. The Bears. Sarah said so. Winky face. I like it. That's right. I like it. I like it. Thank you, Michelle Pfeiffer. That should be its own series. Its own little mini series. Sarah said so. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Did you sell? I know it's Michael. That's rude. I know it's very rude, especially for Super Chatter. Honestly, but being, I, I, I do it. In I good wouldn't fun. mind being called Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. I Be, do it. In good I've been fun. called a lot of worse things. Uh, you know, it's a. Uh, Eric Thompson key, says key it's, you belong to me. You you belong to me. Yeah, that's right. Ah man, yes. I want to learn that. Mm-hmm. It's good. We'll work on it. You'll have to you'll have to join me in the harmonies. I don't sing. I want to get you singing. And then playing trumpet. I don't sing to, not for myself. I don't sing uh, to be considerate to everyone else's ears. <laughs> it's not good. Thank you, New Tunes. Uh, Says I'm doing great. I dig it. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this. But, but now it's, it's a can and it's open. We're gonna I think it serves its own purpose. Finish it. This is perfect for tailgates and bachelor parties and yeah welcome bags for bachelor parties and you don't want it 
I don't want welcome it. If I ever got one of these for bachelor parties in my welcome bag, I would be like, nah. He said, you pronounce it better than most. No worries. Oof. <laughs> I hear you now. Yeah. I'm used to it with my last name. Woo. Woo. It's biting back at this point. Oh, it doesn't feel good. I think I'm going to taste that for a while. Mm. Let's yeah. go back to the wheel. Let's go back to the wheel. I don't... I, it doesn't belong here. Yeah, let's go back to the wheel. But I do think it belongs in the places that I said. You belong to me. I don't belong to nobody. Come on. Don't be something we've already had. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> this wheel's possessed. Why does it just want us to have the same things over and over again? It's trying to punish us. Ew, don't make that noise. <laughs> okay, something new. Something borrowed, something blue. Let's hit it. Where's this? It's right here. Wonderful. Within reaching distance. I don't have a clean glass, so that's a problem. Yeah, I washed out one for that Irish because uh. I kind of <laughs> thought. Now, this is interesting. We have tried uh, this brand once before. Let me get past the noise. A while part. ago. Yeah. And they actually sent us this new one, and Ooh. we were I guess we were waiting for a theme Gotta or be something. Honest, I'm a little surprised after what we said about the... I mean, I don't think that we said anything mean. I just don't think we were... We were not over the moon about it. Correct. We were... But this... Meet them. This is... Uh, well, because this one is older, I think it might be higher proof than that mm. first one we had. So they, like, <laughs> realized our MO. Right, maybe. <laughs> said, stick this in your whiskey hole. Uh, this is boathouse aged, okay? So you've heard of Jefferson's Ocean aged at sea. You've heard of, you know, ag agitating the barrels with Sonic Youth, the band. Or other music. <laughs> Metallica, actually. Uh, or other music. This is boathouse aged. Okay. So that is their rickhouse, basically, on the water. It's aged for a minimum of five years, like that. It's bought and bond, like that. Like it's bad. Captain's Reserve. I like that. You should have a theory that anything reserve on it was good. Back in my How'd that pan out for you? My, actually, it lasted a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, that theory went for a while. The original I mean, boat house aged bourbon. Our approach to making whiskey combines a healthy respect for traditional methods with the... I'm boring her, folks. Uh, with the innovative spirit and natural resources of the Pacific Northwest. All of our bourbon whiskeys are crafted grain to bottle on, the, on premise using hand-selected local grains and our own proprietary local... Uh, wild yeast strains. Harvesting the power of the sea! We age our barrels in floating boathouses on Puget Sound. Cool! Okay. The movement created by this hydrokinetic energy increases the interaction of the bourbon and the wood, expanding the aging process and enhancing the flavor of our whiskey. So, there was probably a time... Mm-hmm. That's what I thought It's about. a 375. You can't, okay. you can't nick me on that one. Okay. I'm gonna ding you. Don't. Uh... When I probably would have thought the whole, like, aged on water agitation, blah, 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 Which is was marketing, yeah, BS, until we got to see the Jefferson's Journey experiment, and they literally put the exact same new make in two different places, and then at two years brought it back, and you got to compare them side by side, and then I was like, okay, this is not BS. There was a mark. Like marketable, mar undeniable, market, mar marked, mm, marked difference, marketed. It was undeniable. It was undeniable. Yeah, that there was a difference. There had been much more maturation mm -hmm. that had occurred. Yeah. Um, in what was sent out on the water, right. and so since trying that experiment, which unfortunately it didn't get widely released, so not a lot of people got to experience it. I really hope that they would revisit that because I think it is kind of you know a nice thing to show people to help them understand and also a great history lesson because it followed the same route that the flatboats did down kentucky to the ohio river down to new, new orleans, orleans and then up around the coast up to new, new york. york which is how um, they used to get whiskey in yeah yuck. and it it i think it was 18 months total round trip um they did have to rebarrel because they hit a hurricane down in new orleans yeah. but so technically that made it um double barreled double barreled but i think they did it for both so it kind of you know well, no, they wouldn't have done it for the one in Kentucky. What am I saying? Never mind. Anyway, Super Chat uh, from Sierra saying, 
just graduated with my <gasps> bachelor's in nursing. That gets a cap. A, or, uh, a, a triangle. triangle. Had a maker's flight with friends. Uh, original 101 cast strength, 110 proof, and a store pick, 111 proof. Okay. The pick was best by far, followed by 101, original, then cast strength. Ooh. Thank you for those results. And congratulations. Congrats on graduating. On graduating. That's so exciting. This is kind of smells like salty caramel corn. Well, it is aged on the ocean. Yeah, I feel like oh, yeah. caramel corn with salt, mm -hmm. sea salt, whatever. Maybe that's just in my head. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Says Kilko. Are you scrolled up? Oh, I thought it was just you. I was like, ugh. Not you, Kilko. You're more than welcome to say these things. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's much better than I remember it. It, it is, just tastes like caramel corn. It is grain forward, but it, yeah, it's got this very caramel forward um, sort of granola yeah. type of dryness. But not, like sometimes things can be dry as like a killer for me. I just don't like super dry whiskeys. But this one's more in like an earthy way. Yeah. Like that granola, earthy... As you said, kind of caramel corn. I mean, this is, I'll give you this, this is different than what's out there from the big guys. Yeah. I mean, it definitely, I think like the corn, the granola with the, like the oats and stuff that's in there, we're definitely getting some grain forward, uh -huh. right? Yep. On this. Um, but I think that I like, there's a nice caramel, maybe even a hint of a coffee flavor, a um, little chocolate in the background. Like, those things are kind of in the background. But what jumped out at me at first was caramel corn. Yeah. And and I, I agree with what you're saying, though. Like a, a granola. Mm-hmm. Like a honey granola type yes, of a thing. Yes, honey, for sure. Honey, honey, honey bunches of oats. Because it is kind of oats. Like, it is grain. Honey yeah. bunches of oats. Honey bunches of oats. With, what did she say? With Now with something. I love that one lady that's been in their commercials for, like, 20 years. Oh, yeah. She's the best. Yeah, with almonds. I don't know her, but she yeah. seems like the best. She's great. <laughs> Joey, turn your bag of donuts. Chad, we've been trying to tell, uh, we, we've been trying to tell high choice on the wheel after you drink them for next time. Oh. Uh, maybe to tell you how to hide the oh, choice on the can, wheel? you can do that. Because you can thing. uncheck it. Oh. Yeah, but then would it be as fun? Yes. Okay. Because we wouldn't have to do it so many times and they wouldn't have to hear that tick, 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 tick noise. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, one word missing Joey and my brain's like, Tony does not compute. For that. Telling us how, to, how, how to do things better. <laughs> yes, uncheck them. Uncheck, uncheck them. Where well, I don't know go? that we have There any... we go. Kilco. Only the viewer can help us achieve 300. And only you can prevent forest fires. There you go. We're so lame. <laughs> you know, this ain't bad. I'm enjoying this. Me too. Yeah. You know what this kind of reminds me of is when we had that, um, that silverback, um, blackback oh, release recently sure. at Justin's. And I think just like my impression of the first time I had silverback, which was good. Uh, but the difference between my reaction then and my reaction when we had the, uh, I think it's called Blackback, right? Uh, yes. The Gorilla. The Gorilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we did it on a live. Right. The, so the differences between how I felt about those two, I'm feeling a similar kind of way about this. Like, the more I sip this, the more I'm like, hmm. It's, I mean, it is different. Yeah. It, it is grain forward. But there's a lot of flavors in here that I really like. And I'm liking the, uh, the 100 proof. It's nice. Do you know what the MSRP is on this? I do not. I feel like I feel like once upon a time they've sent us some literature, so we will have to find that and let you guys know. Um, Scooter's saying 100K, su K subs just around the corner. Tell a friend. Tell your mom. <gasps> tell your dad. Hide, hide your wives. For us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody getting subbed up in here. 
Hide your kids, hide your wives. Everybody gets My brain up just in was here. like, wait, what? Um, no, that is us. Yeah, please, please tell a friend. Help, help us get. I hope you have 20,000 friends. No. Um, <laughs> You're popular, right? Quality, Chad. Quality over I know. quantity. Well, these are some quality ass people here. They are. And that's why I'm glad it has taken us five years to get the quality of people that we have here tonight. A super chat was missed. A super chat was missed. A super chat was missed. I don't know. Keep looking. It, but like I said, I think it, it's taken us a lot of time to get the quality of people that we have here joining us every Sunday. And. Ah. I don't want to just like race to the finish line. You're correct. Because it's not a finish line, first of all. Nope. But also. Yeah. It's not a race. Anton, we are so sorry that we missed your super chat. It was chat. him. Yeah, He's in charge of the Completely me. I'm driving. He says, if there is ocean age, there should be train age. Caboose 12 Caboose 12 year. 12 year. We, we call, I would love to drink some ca Oh, hold on. I don't know if I can finish that sentence. Well, there's the reason why we can't. Here's your problem. <laughs> no, well, here, see, now, see, here's your problem. This is why we can't make that. Um, no, but I think that's a valid point, like the movement of a train. I wonder if anyone's trying that. You could chug a lug that all day. Also, marketing. Wait, can I say, can I tell them about the thing I read about online? This may be old news. You have, what? You've read a lot of things. I read a lot of I don't know what online. the hell you're talking about. I read a lot. Um, there's like a, a, a Scotch whiskey train. Oh, that. Um, okay. It goes through, I mean, Scotland, obviously, and uh, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But I think it's like four or five days, and then you get all your food, all your drinks, everything included on the train, and then they stop at multiple distilleries where you get to have all these cool experiences. Um, like and there's just like... They're... Uh... Uh, special for that train tour. Right, for the train tour, tour. like behind the scenes, yeah. tasting like tastings of their most special stuff and all this and that. And like you can have anything you want on the train. Um, that, I'm not selling it very well. <laughs> it's expensive. What was it? Like $5,000? $7,500? $7, $7, no, I think maybe. I think it's $7,500. That's a lot of money. But like. It was about $1,000 a day. I remember that. Yeah, it's a lot. It's like a thousand a day. Um, but we were like... But it includes your food, it includes like said, your drinks. And you stay it, on the train. It includes your lodging, your travel. Right. And your all tours. your experiences at these different distilleries. Yeah. It does not include your airfare. We're not even thinking about going. We're thinking. Uh, uh, our PayPal is it's bourbon no, 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 at no, gmail.com. No. <laughs> no, I was just, my initial idea when I, go fund me? before I saw the price tag was like, Chad, how cool it'd be. Cause it's like a fancy train. Like one of those Hogwarts, real, like murder on the orange express types of trains, like a Hogwarts Someone's train. Murdered. Um, like fancy, fancy. Everybody train. get murdered up in here. Anyways, I was just saying like, before I knew how much it cost, I was like, we should make an episode out of out of this because Episodes. two people who are really have only dipped a toe in a scotch to go on a four or five day whiskey train through Scotland mm -hmm. like and you get to see all the beautiful you know countryside and everything all and visit the distilleries and try whatever you want like what a way to just throw us in the deep end and to make a video about our experience would be really cool um then I read the Price. price tag and I was like so we're gonna start a GoFundMe no we're not you don't even want to go I do want to go are you kidding me you Scotland? just made a face no that was when you said dip a toe I was like Ew. oh we don't want to dip a toe in Scotland. like in the pool versus oh. jumping in the deep end sure sure no one wants their toes whiskey well, eyes some people probably do want a toe dipped in their scotch to be honest <laughs> oh god should I selfie pics online let me hear your thoughts yeah yeah I mean if you can make money why not why not? Uh, we just started a channel and linked you and mentioned you. Um, we can send you uh, oh. all three subscribers your way. Uh, LOL, you're welcome. Well, thank you. Whiskey well, Eyes, Leon, and Trisha. Check them out. You. Check them out. Here's, check them out. Here's us. Oh, they look beautiful from their thumbnail. Look at them. It's a luscious beard, sir. What a lovely couple. Yes. I assume you're a couple because of the leaning. Because of the, the head touching. Maybe not. You don't touch heads with strangers. I mean, you could. You try not to. Okay. Well, sure. Check Anyways. them out. Go give them a sub. Because they sent us three <sighs> subs. So do that times 500. All right. Read the next. Do it. <laughs> Please. Eric says, put a barrel in the trunk of a 1962 Buick on a back road trip across the country and call it junk in the trunk. That's also a really good idea. I feel like you'd have a really hard time getting that by the... TGB? And like, what would... You'd have to charge a lot of money for that. 
Um, True. Based on the cost of the barrel and make sure it's copacetic with and all the uh, ta- crossing state lines. Borders. But I like your idea. Um, I like your idea. Yeah. Red tape red. sounds tricky, but in a world there's you no bad it, ideas. You we're call bra- it red tape reserve. We're bra- we're brainstorming. There's no bad ideas. I'm going back to the wheel. One more. We're after a nine. Yeah. Well, we got it. Chad Cheers. said, "I don't care." <laughs> And it looks like we have, oh, we're going to Canada. Okay. Going to Canada. High choice. That's what that means. <laughs> so to be fair, the only pour that I have not finished this evening is this one. And I won't. I won't be doing that. She shan't be doing it. So what do you guys think about this whiskey train? I like the idea a lot, but the price tag is, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're paying for a European vacation, I don't even know. I've never been to Europe or anywhere. I've only in, been once. You know, I've been outside of the U.S. to like Cancun. Does that count? I mean, I know it counts, it but counts. But like, it seems like kind of a week. You know what I mean? We saw Canada recently. We did see Canada. I could probably, th- I couldn't have thrown a rock at it. You could have tried. You will try. We skipped rocks at Canada. Yeah. All right. Uh, Alberta Premium. This is their cast strength. Um, we got this back in February. It was $90. And this is math 66%. Lovely. 66? Yeah. 132? Is that right? Well, 60 times 2 is 120. Uh huh. And 6 times 2 is 12. So it's 132. Am I wrong? Is that bad math? This is what I, th- I think, but. Uh, Kyle says there's a whiskey cruise nest. No, next April. Sorry, I can't see that far away. Uh, next April in Florida. Interesting. April is a busy time for us, so I don't know that we'll be making the cruise. Um. But I like the idea of doing something like that. Like some sort of transportation where you can also lodge and that involves whiskey. <laughs> Interesting that it's a screw top. Um, sure. I had, you know, once you've hit rough waters once on a cruise, I don't know that I ever want to go on another cruise, but I could be convinced. Bleep bloop. Bleep bloop. I wish there was like a... Kentucky train that went to all the different distilleries. There's a dinner train. Yeah, but I wish there was a bourbon train that went to the different distilleries. I think they go to some distilleries. The dinner train? Mm-hmm. It just says dinner, though. Yeah. You can't sleep on there. But where else are you going to go in Kentucky? Horse farms? Probably. But you can't sleep on the train. Yeah. It's, He's it's, over me talking it's about just this. A, no, I'm thinking. It's like a day thing, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cast strength to rye, everybody. Back to rye. Rye is really showing up tonight. It has. The wheel has The wheel chosen. wanted rye. Yeah. Um, again, 66 proof. <laughs> you do the math. Um, <laughs> the podcast is here and they say pod cruise too. Pod cruise too. As long as you can guarantee we won't be rocking to the point where like all my stuff slides off the counter, I will go. Because nothing <laughs> would be worse than being like tipsy. And then also being the like being jostled tipsy. around, I would die. I think. Yeah. Especially with my inner ear issues. I would just lay down and die and be like, please put me out of my misery. What's a dog What's doing that over dog there? Doing? I don't know. She's getting into something. Uh, tipsy made me think of, they'll say, autopsy at my autopsy. Who knows that reference? Shout it out. Don't be, don't be shy. Ooh, that's a little harsh. Stings a little. Don't rye for me, Argentina. Okay, that's going to be our next pick. Our next rye pick is going to be called that. Don't rye for me, Argentina. That is great. Glad I got a vote um, in that. <laughs> Super happy to have had a say. Ooh, ah, ah. It's bites. Ooh, it's a, it bites. Nom, 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 nom. Well, that doesn't taste like whatever 66 times 2 is. Did I get that wrong? Was I wrong about that? Yeah, just use your calculator. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no one's gonna judge. Bob's Burgers. There you go, Scooter. You are correct. I don't think this is for me. One thirty-two. I was right. It's what it says. 
Doesn't taste like 132 proof. Electric love. Yes. Electric love. Oh, okay. It's time for us to go then. It's the time when Chad's just singing and dancing, asking for tips. <laughs> like. It's a great episode of Bob's Burgers that someone is asking here. Um, yeah. Electric love. Bob's Burgers. About Thomas Edison and um, elephants. I remember. Yeah. Okay. Second sip, you get more of the spice but i tell you what that first one do, was, do people like this does everybody like this was really i feel like mellow am i missing out on something here i mean it is i'm no i'm not feeling it somewhat I got, I got sort of it. sort of limited um i think it was a limit one when we got it at, at, at total wine um the podcast gets killing me <laughs> what don't forget to tip don't forget them. to ship the band <laughs> aka i'm i'm the band um he does all the sound so, effects yeah that's right i don't need this little sound pad over here also thanks kilco for plugging um whiskey mountains in and others i do like that one yeah that's lovely go check out the podcast they have a youtube channel as well that you can subscribe to yeah watch definitely watch their faces and i feel like probably a lot of you follow their podcast but maybe don't follow their youtube channel and you need to fix that if you don't because who doesn't want to see their lovely faces? I know it brings me joy. I wish that they would do you at night. what I want them to do. Hmm. Like a QVC riff where they're like trying to convince you to buy something. But like QVC style, you know. I have the rotating platter if you need to borrow yeah. it. I've got it. I can just see it now. Oh, geez. It made me cry a little bit. Tammy, I love your comment, but I have to check in <laughs> with the boss here. No. If I can do it or not. Fine. I don't want to hear it. Wow. My, my, my toughest critic over here. <sighs> to, Go ahead. To my Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> Hello, my ragtime gal. We're going to lose. Send me a kiss by wire. Okay, there goes everybody. Maybe my heart's on fire. Pete, this is why we haven't hit 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we haven't hit 300 thumbs up tonight. We're at 274 with them two thumbs downs. Keep them thumbs downs where there's that. But if we get to 300, that'd be great. And there's 333 eyes. Why do I keep drinking this? Right I don't like it. Oh, there's another thumbs down. Thank you. This feels harsh and biting and honestly, like thin. Five thumbs downs. Why are people watching us that hate us? You keep saying thumbs down, and so people are like, probably every that. time you sing, someone that. we get another thumbs down. That's what Joseph Prezo said. Teacher says, every Teacher time says, Chad sings, we get another thumbs down. But we're at 287 thumbs up. 295 thumbs up. Shh, just stop counting. And only two thumbs downs now. They took them, they took them back. Okay. Gotta tip that, <laughs> the band for that, Brian. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Brian Brennicky. I don't want to- Holy crap on a cracker. What? What? Is that the biggest super chat we've ever gotten? I don't even uh, know. Second biggest. Second biggest? Super I mean, definitely biggest of the year. <gasps> the biggest, is that the biggest super chat of 2021? Yeah. I don't even know what's better than a triangle. The horn? <laughs> Nobody likes the horn. Don't you almost just knock your uh, water over onto that switcher? I'll give you that triangle and a digital triangle, which is a little different. This tuning. will actually go in a savings fund for, <laughs> for that. the train. Yes, uh, and we're at three hundred thumbs ups. Thank you for that as well. Um, Whisper Eve. Thank you so much. Like. Also, we've never even talked about reaching out to the train people to be like, hey, we'll make you a video. You want to, like, give us a little friends and family discount or something? Do you want to bring Whisper Eve along? Maybe. Because of the super chat. Um, it says, hey, you two. <laughs> well, if this helps get you to your whiskey train. Also, a late congrats on 80K because I missed the live stream last week. Just sending you some love from Mystery Horn. Guys, so get the horn. Do the horn. I don't care if I'm the only one who likes it. I, he likes it. Wow. Wowzers. Wow. 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 Wasn't expecting. 
Oh, okay, that's enough. Now you're just getting overboard. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I don't like... Can I... You don't like it? I don't like this. Who's who's had this? Weigh in, weigh in on the Alberta Premium. I... Now I'm just going to think about going on our train. I don't mind it one bit. I'm going to find the link for that, and I'm going to post it on Patreon, at least. Maybe on our Instagram story, too. I should have done it when I had it the first time. Mm. That's okay. It's not... What does it cost? It's not it for me. Eighty nine ninety nine. No. It's not doing it for me. It's no for you, dog? Maybe if it was like 45 or 50 bucks. Yeah. I would feel it's it more It's too for... thin and it's too sharp and harsh and it, there's just not enough depth. Like, when we're talking about $80, I am conditioned... When we're talking about cast strength, I want Elijah Craig barrel proof. This is mm -hmm, not it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And no, I know it's a I different style, but it's too. It's it. So we got. It's just we not, got Kimber saying too harsh for me. I agree, Kimber. It just. I don't know. It's not like the worst thing ever or anything like that. Just it's not doing it for me. Oh, it's sixty in. Is that Canada? Is that Canadian? Blaine at the bottom Call says. It doll hairs. You, not that you are at the bottom, Blaine, at the bottom of the chat, at the moment, says you should go back to it on a cleaner palette. I think that's a fair mm. recommendation. Mm -hmm. I agree mm -hmm. with you. We have had a lot of things. This probably didn't help it at all, you know? Correct. Um, so I think you're right, but my that's my initial reaction. Um, again, I'm five deep, so. Where did my clicker go? But what I do want is I want something to sip while I watch White Lotus. Because it's the finale, and if you haven't been watching it, so, then you need to start watching there it. There we go. We have a super chat from Amy. Thank you, Amy. So we had it. All heat, no flavor. Oh, all killer. Not all killer, just filler. Just filler. Oh, yo. I feel, um, I feel you We also that, Amy. Also, hi. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Lost it. Lost it in the lights. I follow your little, your house decoration posts, just so you know. Lost it. In the lights. John says, no super chat for me today. Sorry, that's okay. He says, but if we can John, get to sorry. 400 likes, I'll do two shots of Malort. Laughing this, out loud. And every time I say, this guy really loves Malort, it's <laughs> right. based on the jerk. 311 right now. I think of our 331, majority of them have already thumbs ups. So I don't know if we can get to that. We're also going to have to call it soon because I want to yeah. go watch this episode. Yeah. Um, podcast saying... If I'm going for a Canadian rye, I'm going lot 40 cast strength. There you go. Mm, Respectable. Mm. Respectable. Well, Do Sarah, want if you it... want something, should we just spin the wheel one more time and let fate decide? And that'll be... But we're at 917. Well, okay, okay, okay. We don't have to finish okay. it on air. We'll just pour it on air. Have you seen the... Never mind. It's like those TikToks where it's like, is it this or am I just... Like, is it blank or am I just blank? So it's like... <laughs> Do I want so Heaven what? Hill, or, or do I want Henry McKinnell bottled them on, or is it just within arm's reach? <laughs> oh, right, right. We have had Bradshaw bourbon. Um, it is ranked in our celebrity whiskey episode. That is, which is actually there. really fun, and we need to do a second one. We need yes. to acquire more celebrity whiskeys because that was a fun one. Too. The podcast says wheel, wheel, wheel. Do it, wheel, wheel, wheel. Also, I don't know if you guys caught it. at the beginning of the episode. I 100% gave you credit. Chap was like, I just stumbled across this site. It looked fun, and I was like. Where have I seen this before? But apparently it was Bill at the Whiskey Dick, <laughs> at least on episodes. So what we've learned is that Chad gravitated towards a good idea, which you have, which just means that you guys have a really good idea. But the digital wheel is very easy to update. Yeah. And is. we can cross things out and make it not spin that. So it's nice. That old analog wheel. That thing. old analog wheel. <laughs> the analog wheel is more fun to spin in person. These guys really love wheels. They do. Uh, spin it. All right. Hit it. Hit it. There's one thing I'm hoping for, and I hope we get it. I'll let you know. Come on, damn it. What the hell is that? Oh! Well, okay, cool. Is that what you wanted? It wasn't, but I'm glad we got it, actually. What because, did you want? Share. You uh, wanted the cow you met? I did, because we need to get that sucker open. Um, this is something that we've uh, embarrassingly kept not opened for uh, an amount of time, because Jason comes from and Jason Natalie. and Natalie. I do love these bottles. Two of the best people on the planet, and we just haven't... He's not making a list or anything, don't worry. We just haven't, um... 
I haven't opened it. I wouldn't be on so the list. So I was really clamoring for this to get opened tonight. Did I rinse this? Do you guys remember? I think I did. Jason and Natalie. Oh, just a couple no, of that had that had the Irish in it. Just a couple of sweethearts. That had the Irish in it. I can taste it. So right, that's well, not let fair. me just work on that's this not while fair. you do that. All right. Well, thanks you guys for sticking with us for this long. I feel like we might be encroaching on someone else's time at this point, and I feel bad about that. I can never remember though. What I need to do is put a schedule of whiskey tube. <laughs> right. Sorry, I bumped the mic. Uh, when they go live on that wall over there, so that anytime yeah. we're going live, I can remember who goes after us. Um, and on well, what Kilko days. does a lot. He of, does before. Of -game, so. And he is a mod, so if you're not subscribed, go to him. Should go to Kilko. Speaking of Kilko, look here's his thing. Um, he's doing this. This. Can block. I? Is that right? Yeah. There we go. Go for it. Oh, you want some spittle? Good. The That's people high. in the first two rows the are in the splash, splash zone. zone. Uh, yeah, Kilco Whiskey Musings. If you want a pregame before we go live on Sundays, you can go over to his channel and, and do that. Uh, but yeah, Jason and Natalie, who we saw, speaking of Whiskey Weekend, we saw them last at we Whiskey did, Weekend. We and we right? hope to see them again next year at Whiskey Weekend. Uh, this is a gracious gift from them. This is High West uh, American Prairie. It is the barrel select because mm. it is 100.8 proof and it is a specular bottle. It's got, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's like all like weird shiny. I think it's really mm -hmm. reading, but it's really cool. JG said I'm on his best list. Oh, damn, man. Bye. I, yeah, I gotta <laughs> remember some of these lines. <laughs> Really? I literally said I wouldn't make your best list, and you said nothing. I was like, so, hmm? huh? You talk? I'm sorry. Are you speaking? America. Did you make me a sandwich? Then I don't want to hear about it. I think we had a super chat before we went to that wheel. Yes, we did. It's from Anton again. We're just like <laughs> keep missing Anton. We? It's you. Mm -hmm. Sarah, who was killed in the White Lotus? I want to know your thoughts. Hashtag okay. prediction. For anyone who has not Ooh, seen... Oh, yeah, this could be big spoiler No, it can, it's not a spoiler. For anyone who has not seen White Lotus, I this is only a prediction. I don't actually know if this was what's going to happen. HBO Max. It's a big mystery. No, way. isn't it Apple? No, it's HBO Max. It's HBO Max. Max. Um, it's not so TV, it's HBO. There are a lot of people on the board who it could be. My personal thought is that it's Paula the teen, um, they have been making a point in each episode to note that she has lost her medication, that she has all kinds of health issues, and we know she doesn't have her pills, and that she's got some sort of like a anxiety seizure disorder or whatever. So I think there's conflict to Bruin. I think that her friend's going to push her a little too far. Maybe they're going to fight. She's going to have some sort of a... Because we know at the beginning, in the very first episode, you know, within two minutes, you know. Somebody is dead. Yes. And they are getting I... on a plane to go back to somewhere from Hawaii. So my thought is it has to be one of the people who are traveling too, because yes. why else would they go back? It can't be someone who lives on the island because then they would not be transporting their bodies. But you hear, the one thing you hear on the announcement overhead is uh, to Honolulu, which I feel like maybe has the international airport. But nobody got up. When they said now boarding to Honolulu or whatever. Or maybe they said boarding in five minutes. Okay, okay, I don't okay. know. I don't know. We're I talking a lot about stuff that remember. probably a lot remember. of people don't know. But what's your theory? I feel like I think he's got the obvious theory. Who I forget his name. The, the dude. The mustache. The manager. The manager. He thinks it's gonna be the manager. My thought is why would they be transporting his body off of the island where he lives? Because you gotta get to the big airport because he is from New Zealand. We think it's New Zealand. It might be Australia. Uh, Anyways. Do you, do you drink bourbon every night? Uh, you have a lot of inventory. We don't. Not every night. Not every night. No, my liver. No. no. We, usually, um, we usually save it up. We try to save it for when save we it. are either at a social event or it re not requires it. I mean, nobody requires it, but it's needed. Um, or, or just, you know, filming. One, one dram on, on a night you where hate... you just need a little wind down. When did you go from hating that to loving that? Roy. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. If anyone could change your mind, it would be Roy. It's Roy. Um, Aquavite. Yeah, I I try not to, just because I like to... Checks and balances. Let my body... Checks and balances. You know, heal yeah. from checks, the checks damage balance. that I do. 
A super chat from Eric. I love the White Lotus question. Thank you. <laughs> Saying, hey, both Matt P and I say that the bourbon in the new new label Old Forester 1920 tastes different and better. If you have both that, would you do a drink this or that? Well, we don't have a new label Old Forester. But 1920, you know what we could do? We, we should, should get totally one get and that. then do a this or that, and then you could do a throwback cut ins to the original Old Forester 1920 on Corky where I bangs? had bangs. <laughs> It was bad. I didn't think you man. would want that. No, I don't. But it's also a part of my history, which I embraced. It's true. Like, Thank you, Eric. It was a decision that I made. I made the decision to get bangs. They were terrible bangs. I would never get those bangs again. But I'm also not embarrassed about it. It's a part of my life. You and, know? And, and the Matt P that Eric spoke of is Matt Porter. Porter. Of ADHD Whiskey. Yes, yes. This is good. That's actually a really good idea for an episode, and I now like I kind of want to do it for Friday. But I know you don't want to, so we'll talk about it. No, we could. I mean, I'll just have to go out and buy a new bottle, but... I'm intrigued by this. Is either that or a flight fight? TBD. Ooh. I love talking about... Yeah, Sean, you should shows. watch White Lotus. If you can, it's, you should it's, watch it's it. It's a really good character study. It really is. It's a really good white privilege study. Just there's, privilege, just privilege in general. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of different, um, what would you call it? Um, oh, the word escapes me. Um, Character groups? Well, this is I, I want to say expose, but it's not expose. Like, uh, uh, commentary. Commentary. There's a lot of commentary on different social groups and service industry and just happy. the service industry um, is what gets me because i was in it for such a long time so watching service industry people in, being exploited uh, bothers me different class groups mixed in with a basically a really slow burn murder mystery yeah basically honestly yeah i told him it's like the best show that we watch right now that also makes me the most anxious and miserable <laughs> while i'm watching it i get all bold besides up. besides uh dave Besides Dave. Dave is good, but Dave yeah. also makes me uncomfortable. There's a new 1920? Well, that's to be seen. They updated the label, but we've noticed they haven't updated the label of the other, the other Whiskey, Whiskey Row series. Or, yeah. And if they have, we haven't seen it. Yeah. All right. I think that's enough. We've okay. gone 30 minutes over. Yes, we have. There's no reason for that. There's no reason for that. We're cutting into someone else's time. I'm sure of it. Probably so. Yes. So we shan't do it anymore. All right. Cool. Well, we're going to finish this lovely pour, which you do enjoy, by which the way. Which I don't think we actually talked about at all. Well, I said I liked it. I mean, we didn't get any notes, but at this point, we're probably... <laughs> Fried, so we probably past, shouldn't have spun the wheel. Past notes. But because... it's open now. We can always come back and do a critical a critical review. Okay. Yeah. So, maybe that's how we'll start next Sunday with the Alberta on a clean palate, followed by this guy. That might be a good opening. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let me mouse over to where um, I can do things. He forgot. Yeah, I gotta move things so I remember how to do stuff. This All is right. a really good ending, <laughs> isn't it? It's the best. It's the best. A, a real cliffhanger. Oh, what a cliffhanger! We'll see you guys Friday for a produce episode. Or of, will we? Or will we? It might Stay be. Stay tuned next week to find out. It might be the 1920. Or will it? Or will it be a fly fight? It uh, won't be will it. It won't be will it. Or and will it be a fly fight? It might be a fly fight. And then Sunday for a live episode. What will yes. be happening on that one? We never know. We don't ever know. Yeah. Until we get closer. Exactly. So now I'm going to put up this graphic, which says thanks for watching. We'll see you next Sunday. And then I'm going to play... A little sound bite, and we will say goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.